Hello and welcome to another episode of Humans in Five. All of our bodies change as we get older. And one thing that I've noticed is that my joints are a lot noisier than they used to be. When I bend my knees, I sometimes hear a crack. It's not just knees that can be noisy. Some people hear cracks and pops when they move their knuckles or stretch, stretch their feet. These pops, cracks, and creaks that happen when we move our limbs are known as crepitus. They're actually part of a group of sounds and sensations that occur with joint movement. You might also experience crepitus when you feel a grating sensation as you move your joint. Oh, so those noises happen because I'm not moving my joints enough, right? Well, it seems to be a little more complicated than that. The popping or cracking noises we hear when we move our joints are caused by air bubbles popping inside the joint. It can also be caused by tendons that are snapping back over bones as we move our joints. The presence of air in these joints is pretty common and nothing to worry about if it's not causing you any pain. When it comes to crepitus and moving those joints around, research has been pretty mixed as to whether crepitus happens more or less in people who are very physically active. A recent study with an international team of researchers found that among a sample of physically active women in their 20s, crepitus wasn't associated with how much activity they were doing. One of the worries with something like crepitus is that it indicates that the joint is no longer functioning in a healthy way. If we take the knee joint, for example, the joint works with both bone and soft tissues to function properly. Our knee joint's covered with cartilage and has a special sack of slippery tissue known as a bursa to help the bones glide when they're moving in the joint. Both the bursa and the cartilage can be damaged and worn away through life, or with specific conditions, such as arthritis. Arthritis generally refers to some type of joint disease, including joint pain and swelling, and presents issues with both muscle and tissue. We won't go into more detail for now. Arthritis is actually pretty complex and is best saved for another episode. Research on changes in knee joint tissues and crepitus in the knee also suggests that it isn't a case of, if your joints are cracking, you have arthritis. A 2016 study carried out by a team of medical researchers in the US, which focused on tissue changes in the knee joint, found that there was no relationship between crepitus and changes in bone and tendons in the knee. This doesn't rule out the possibility of arthritis, but it does suggest that crepitus isn't a direct indicator of joint diseases. Many studies tend to focus on knee and hip joints when it comes to joint diseases. We carry all our weight through these joints, and unfortunately, they're the ones that need attention in order for us to keep getting around. But arthritis and crepitus happen in other joints, such as our hands and our shoulders. Studies focusing on these areas of the body might help us learn more about these relationships. As always, making time for ourselves to be physically active and eating a healthy, balanced diet are what we can do to help our joints along. And hey, if a joint cracks in the process and you're not in pain, it's just part of having a complicated skeleton. Thanks, and we'll see you next time on Humans in 5. And don't forget to subscribe.